Howdy folks, Luke Simons with you. Back to the basics 101. It's been a long time since I've done a video, that is for certain. Today, I'd like to do a small review after I readjust my camera with you. That is my attempt at being a cowboy poet right there. <clears throat> this is called the K4, the K4 Leatherman. And I'll tell you why. I'm going to tell you the good, the bad, the ugly with her. Um, <clears throat> I got an angry corgi outside, so if he starts barking, you just don't mind him. I just fed cows. We're droughty <clears throat> this year. So the K4, made by Leathermans, um, it's got, a, I believe, an aluminum um, sides, okay? And, uh, you know, if you're going to be into a techie video, I'll just tell you, spoiler alert, this probably ain't so. This is just a ranching video. I, I don't, I don't know all the terminology. I probably have 35, 40 pocket knives. I love pocket knives. But this guy here, we're going to talk about the good and the bad. <clears throat> so, what do we have? We have a tomahawk. I believe it's called tomahawk uh, blade or tonto blade. Um, USA made. I have no clue what the uh, metal is. I would imagine it's about Leatherman quality. Leather or uh, blade. I, I wasn't sure if I'd like that. It's one of my first in that style. And um, I think I've had maybe two of this style maybe, but the first one I actually worked with. And I thought maybe I'd like these. Now I'm gonna tell you, these are, this this is day two, and that's the best it's ever open for me. Um, we're gonna talk about the good, the bad, and what I probably would have done a little differently, honestly, uh, for my work situation. Does that fit my hand? Yes, actually, surprisingly, it does. It is awkward with this here. I probably will take that off and make a leather case for this because I personally, uh, these these here, Wrangler Star is correct. They snag. I, I've carried this guy for years. I probably have the date on it. Um, this one here, I made that case in 2017. Um, <clears throat> the Waves Big Brother, I've carried this guy for uh, since 19, since 2013, carried this one. Actually, it was warrantied out in 2017. So, uh, this blade here, this is my go-to standard, um, is right there. This is called the Surge, right? So you can see the blade difference. Major difference. Today when I was cutting the bale strings off, major difference with this knife. Big time. But, if you look at... And this block locking blade is really something else, actually. You have to push it up to make it lock. But look at this. You guys seen this? These are about the same price. I've got a wicked pliers. And, and I'm surprised how many Leatherman people are still using the baby tool versus the Surge. Look at the difference. Look at that difference. See the difference? Um, let's take a look at their, our knives here. There. There. Pretty good size difference. And the pliers is just amazing on, on my uh, my Surge. I mean, this here is a man tool. This is, this is a full out man tool. Look at that. Will this get you a buy in a pinch? Absolutely. If you have small hands, yes. But I'll tell you, there is no comparison between the two. Surge Leathermans right here. Wave Leathermans. Wave Leathermans was a big time upgrade from the original Leathermans. Still is a great, great tool. I use it for a spare. Surge, that, that's, that's the working tool. I'll do a review on this too. There are some drawbacks to this that I don't care about. That this has better. This has fixed tools. This here, half the time you're using these for a hammer. I mean, you're, you're using them for a hammer. And I'm telling you, they just, 
that screwdriver system spoiler alert is yeah, i've never had good luck with it I, I lose them the first four day i i don't care for it and i don't care for this part either i um <clears throat> that that comes out a lot i don't care for that um it comes i don't care for that anyways that's not a review on the wave i'm just comparing this guy to those guys okay <clears throat> so we have a beautiful blade that is all of i don't know how how long that is to be very honest if you give me three seconds i'll, I'll grab a tape measure my old work pickup i've got a i've got this right to the wall <laughs> we are looking at from base to, to tip we are looking at exactly three and a quarter three and a quarter inch blade exactly okay and we are looking at uh the handle we are looking at um four and a half inches and the blade i'm going to say actually three and three eighths it's actually three and three eighths depending on what side of this you measure it on so three and three eighths blade <clears throat> beautiful blade and let's see here the circumference it is three quarter inch from here to here okay so from here to here three quarter inch does it come out factory sharp it's leatherman sharp i mean if i wanted to be a schnob i suppose i could say it's it's not sharp but um yeah it's it's Plenty sharp. That's my free coffee drink. I better not do that all day long. Um, hopefully you guys are going to like these reviews. So I plan on doing a lot of them. Since I got sick, I just I just can't do a lot of outside stuff anymore. I have to hire a lot of it done. So what do we got here? <clears throat> we have some blades. Now this is the part that I'm not really happy about. Now they make the, the K2. This is the K4. And... Um, you can see what we got there, right? That's how she sits. And it could have been just a little bit different. It does have a lanyard hole, if you can see that. Um, so let's take a look at it. <clears throat> this is day two, guys. Day two of carrying this. Um, let's take a look at the scissors first. Some people are really big on the scissors. I like scissors. I like making scissor, uh, using scissors out on the, the prairie sometimes I have to make gaskets um, I'll tell you what I don't have one in here but like an oil filter box or anything kind of box like that you can make really nice gaskets out of them now I'm gonna do a little comparison to our scissors here okay uh, let's see here what do we got this is a definitely an upgrade in a scissors from the wave Leathermans definitely well actually not, not, not overly. Just a little bigger handle here, okay? But really, truthfully, boy, look at there. It's actually, this might be just a touch better on the wave, okay? Um, on the Surge, there is no comparison. This guy is a behemoth. She's an absolute wonderful, wonderful, scissor absolutely there is no comparison between these two tools between the k5 and the surge leatherman none there's no comparison but this is a knife pocket knife with accessories okay uh that's that's one thing that the surge is definitely superior in fact the, this is just a superior tool if i had to be out in the prairie um out the mountains, what have you, this is the tool I would take. The surge leatherman. Hands down. Um but this 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 tanto this this blade is is nice. And it does have a good feel to it. It it has a, a pretty good feel to it and it has a wonderful lock on it. Um it's a little unique because you have to push it up. But you can do it from both sides so it's right or left. That's cool. So it does come with a scissor. <clears throat> the K2 does not come with the scissors. 
And um, honestly, I, I think I'd have probably preferred the K2. They just didn't have it. And so I thought I'd settle. Um, it has a beautiful Phillips screwdriver. I like the shapeness. It works great, it works wonderful. The bottle cap opener works wonderful. I, I, I like that. Um, I really like having something with a bottle cap opener. <clears throat> um, let's see, what else do we have? We have our Soul. Well, now, is it nice to have a Soul? I use a Soul. I, I do use a Soul. And by the way, all these are locking blades, okay? Um, the Soul. It, okay. So you could say that that's a functioning screwdriver as well. Smaller Phillips screw, or a, yeah, a straight screwdriver with the saw all option. This is somewhat sharp on this side, if you can see what I'm talking about here, okay? Um, I like the fact that they made it a saw all and a screwdriver. But to be very honest, a, a can opener would have been very nice. I, I don't know if there's something they could have done about that or not. But a, a can opener, I, I've eaten in this in this old ranch pickup, the 79 Ford. I have eaten a lot of cans of beans in this pickup. If my wife has to be gone, if she's going to a meeting, if she's going to, um, uh, she handles a lot of ranch stuff. She goes to a lot of seminars. Um, things of that nature, homeschool events. Um, if she's gone, I'm not, I, I usually don't spend a lot of time cooking for myself. Um, and, and she does pack most of my lunches. But a lot of times I'll just grab a can of beans. And on my surge, I have a can opener. And I use it regularly. I use this regularly for a can opener. My option here would be to use this. This is not a Swiss Army knife. I do not have more than one knife on this on this knife. Uh, I'm not going to use this for a can opener unless it's dire need. Okay. It would have been nice to have a can opener, in my opinion. That's that's my opinion. So, is this tool handy? Yes, I would say the screwdriver is handy. You could probably use it for somewhat of a wedge, even though it will break. Guarantee you. That probably is going to be a break point. I've broken enough Leathermans to know what uh, what is a break point, what isn't a break point. Um, did I break anything in this one yet? I don't know. Leathermans is awesome. They, they take back their stuff. Um, I don't have my other one with me. It's in my shop. But that one there actually cut the biblical cord of my son. It actually did. Oh. Yeah, that's a different story. <clears throat> so, let's go into this. We have a wonderful two-purpose screwdriver. It is a box opener and a screwdriver, okay? Just a Phillips screwdriver. And it's actually almost as handy as a, a regular screwdriver. It, it has a good feel to it. It really actually does. For what it is a multi-purpose tool now a multi-purpose tool people say oh they're bulky they're this they're that just remember it's like a swiss army knife on steroids okay that's what a multi-purpose tool is this one here is obviously i would say in some kind of competition with a swiss army knife and that's what i'm really trying to compare this to because i personally like my nails done right I like them done right. They get dirty, they get nasty, but I like them done. Um, I, I just think it's professional to have your, your fingernails trimmed. And I, I didn't even think I was going to do that in the video, but they're trimmed. You see that? I will say that. Um, I like a pocket knife um, that has this guy on it right here. A file, okay? I like a file. Um, in church, I am one of those guys, and I'll be in church, and I'll be just doing this. 
because I'm listening. I need to be doing something. If I was a kid, I'd have had the fidget spinners. I probably would have. Um, I need to be working on something with my hands for me to compre comprehend. Uh, it's just a fact. So I like a file on my knife. Now, if you're in competition with Swiss Army knives, a lot of Swiss Army knives on the back of a blade will have a file. Not much of a file, but it's mainly for your fingernails. It's, it's mainly for your fingernails. It's just on the back. So what I was thinking is, right there would make a really good file. And you would have another multi-purpose tool. Um, is it long? No, it's not long. It's it's not long. Um, the sawall. I, I like the sawall because it 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 is an extra tool onto the screwdriver. So if you if you look at it as that, it was an extra tool. It, it is a screwdriver with a sawall. Yes, but is most people going to use this sawall? No, they won't. I, I would say most people don't even know how to use a sawall, which is sad because a sawall is a very handy tool. Um, but if you're out in the countryside and you don't have string, you're not going to have a sawall. So uh, if I was going to use a sawall at home or in the saddle shop, I would I would use my sawall. I wouldn't use this because it's too big and it's too bulky, it's gonna leave a big mark there. In a pinch, would it work? Yes, it would. Um, if I'm tenting out with my family, camping, would it work? Absolutely, but I'd have to go to town and get some string because I probably don't have it. Um, certainly not string to fit into that. So, um, still think a bottle cap opener, or excuse me, a can opener would be better. Am I just talking? Yes, I kind of am. Um, I Sorry, folks. I, I Like I said, I like that this can come off on either side. Otherwise, is this tool nice? Yes, it is. One more beef. For $90, 90 plus dollars, I think that they could have put a spring assist on this. If Milwaukee, which I don't have that in here, if Milwaukee can make a spring assist awesome knife, which is an awesome knife, and I will do a review on that because I, I love knives. If Milwaukee can do a spring assist for under $30, so can Leatherman's. So can Leatherman's. And 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 that what an upgrade that would be to have a spring assist knife. Just and also this here. These are if you're if you're running your blade sharp sharp, this here is a is a not cool. I have cut myself open many times because so this I mean still a little stiff. It's two days old. Um, yeah, that works. But a little knob here works way way better, folks. It does. It works way way better. So um, you know, is it is it will this work eventually? Yeah, it will. It, it really will. Um, uh, that's probably how it's actually it's meant to open, I suppose. Um, but a spring assist would have been an, very much an upgrade for a $90 knife. And you would have been then touching the Swiss Army knife and the, the Swiss Army knife. And you would also touch the market of, I would say, Benchmade, dare I say, Benchmade quality. I really do. Um, she's a little bulky in here, just a little bulky in there, but, uh, otherwise the tool selection, so, so quality. Yeah. It's everything in the Leatherman quality that I would say. It's a, it's a beautiful knife. It, there's no doubt about it. It's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful knife overall, overall. And, and look at the contour of that blade. She's beautiful. You seeing that? I mean, it comes down. It's really beveled in here. I like that. And then it's got a strong edge here. It's just, it's, it's actually really nice. 
So I guess that that would be my only my only beefs with it. I think I'll carry it. I'll engrave it. I always engrave all my 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 tools when I bought them, and my phone number, my name, because I have got my tools back. <laughs> you drop that out on the interstate, people will call you in North Dakota if their if their number is on there. It happened to my brother. It's happened to my son. Um, I actually have never lost one, so uh, knock on wood, but they all have my name, my phone number on them. They do. Uh, so just a metal engraver. Works great. And uh, you get good at it, practice a little bit on metal. And this one here will take an engraving really nice and neat on there. And people will know whose pocket knife it is. Every year at the harvest party, I find a pocket knife. Find them everywhere at my ranch. And... Um, one a year for sure. Have no idea whose they are. In fact, this guy right here, this guy right here is my, my, each vehicle has a pocket knife. This buck knife right here, I found it at my ranch. Have no idea whose it is. I called people, but there was like three, 400 people at my place. And yeah, there, there it is. Now it's my spare knife. If something happens, I uh, have it. If buck knife can make this happen, for 30 bucks, this knife should have that. I didn't even realize this one has a, look at that. That's a buck, USA, buck. Upgrade. Gotta have it. So, Beautiful knife. Everything you'd expect from Leatherman's. Could they do a better? Maybe. Yep. I think so. Um, and maybe they will. Hopefully you're watching Leatherman's. And no, this isn't sponsored, obviously. Um, I bought this knife basically for this video, and I'm a knife addict. I like knives. So, yes, my wife doesn't know I bought this yet. So, if you hit the bell and the thumbs up, it'll help me pay for this knife a little faster because I might make $4 a month on this video. <laughs> uh, and if YouTube finds out that I'm conservative, I won't make any money on this YouTube, this video. So anyways, <clears throat> folks, thanks for watching. Love you all. May the Lord guide and keep you. And God save our precious, precious republic. This is Luke Simons. Until next time. Next times. Next time. Happy trails. Hey, corgis. Just got done feeding the cows, folks. It is April. And uh, as most of you know, I'm a holistic rancher. We don't, uh, <clears throat> we don't believe in feeding a lot of hay. Uh, but uh, this is what we got to deal with. Today is the first green grass I've seen, and uh, normally at this time of year we got lots of it. There's a little bit of native there, but I'm telling you the sage isn't even wanting to be green yet. Look at that. We're droughty. We're really, really droughty. We didn't get any snow, and it's a it's not a good to be fun. I'll tell you what, Lord rains on the just and the unjust.